All right, all right, yo. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Out of Fluff podcast. Me, your host, Fluff, or AKA Graham. Y'all can call me by that. Really, my last name, but whatever. Either one of the y'all boat. I hope that uh that y'all been all doing well. I hope y'all had a wonderful Thanksgiving. I know I did. Me personally, I ended up making some basically kind of like burnt ends but with short rib pretty fucking fire then i made some mac and cheese also fire and then the food in general was just fire so yeah didn't even need to be under any type of influences either shit was busting dog but i hope that y'all all enjoyed y'all thanksgiving except for the people that decided to cook and or eat uh chitlins y'all are uh y'all need to y'all need to catch up the times man no we're not doing no no more slave food nothing like that no more man chitlins is over it's done we need to leave it in the past keep it in the past make it an extinct food the shit smell like trash because it's basically garbage hot doo-doo water intestines shit ropes i can't fucking stand chitlins with a passion i hate the smell and i no. and then other than that i mean hey the people that didn't eat the chitlins i hope y'all had a wonderful thanksgiving but hey we need we need to step it up chitlins is crazy but new little update for me, myself, and I, I got two phones now. I done upgraded my phone. Two phones. Two phone, baby. Keep like, and I know that y'all were probably thinking like, oh, two phones, you know, Kevin Gates or anything like that. Nah, man. Two phones is for the grind, all right? Never stop the grind, boy. Never stop the grind. My little game addiction got two accounts pretty fun game though pretty fun game i just one account is free so i only spend money on one account saving money even though the second account is looking like if i actually had money i would probably put some money into it not gonna lie to you but one free one has uh money um a lot of money the game addiction that i think i told you about before where I spent uh, a good amount. We don't need to speak about that again. But yeah, dude, got two phones. Crazy. I only updated, only upgraded to the iPhone 11. And that's literally only because my grandma had an iPhone 11. She had it for like a month, never used it, and then got the 12. Wow. But <laughs> got that. So it's pretty cool. I already cracked it, you know. I didn't set no records or nothing like that guy on the news, but I cracked it in about like a day. I had a whole 24 hours without being cracked. Got the back of it cracked. I think that's my specialty because um my other phone is cracked like that in the back as well. And I, I can't ever crack the front. It's just only the back. But if I put a case on there, then you won't, you can't fucking tell. Unless you got x-ray vision or some shit like that. But then again, I don't know. I don't know how X-ray, X-ray uh, vision works like that or anything along the lines. But something like that. Also, um, last week I started uh, doing that One Punch Man challenge. And let's just say uh, I made it to three days. Three. But... Now, I made it the three days. I ended up getting busy, and I ended up basically losing the challenge because I couldn't be able to do it one of the days. Whatever. Not going to go back into doing that shit. That shit is painful. I am a 250-plus man. I'm not about to do 100 push-ups. All right? Fuck out of here. I'm not doing it. I struggled to get up to 50. Struggled to get up to 50. Some people look at me and they'd be surprised I even got 20. I was surprised I got the 22. Shit. Hey. But I'm, I made it up to 50. 
I did basically almost like a 50 a day. Um, squats are pretty easy. I can do the 100 squats. I added in Superman's for the back. If y'all know what Superman's is, or well, if y'all don't know what Superman's is, there's uh, the exercise where you're basically laying on your fucking stomach and you put like your arms and your fucking legs up at the same time. And it's like a back workout. And uh, I, since I can't run, because um, I got bad ankles. My ankles are about as bad as a pirate's. And I'm not running, no. No. I did about like a good, I think like three miles of walking. But I, I consider it about six because I put that bitch on incline to about five and I was walking at like a three to three point five speed. Now to me, that's close. That's borderline you're jogging, going straight uphill for three miles. So I think that's equivalent to running uh uh six miles or basically a 10k. So yeah. I think I did everything. Oh yeah and the sit-ups too. The sit-ups are pretty easy though for me. But I think it's because I mainly do like crunches. I'm not really good at doing like the whole full sit up. Uh, like if I if I don't have anything to keep my feet down, I'm gonna try to like sit up and then my feet just lifts up in the air at the same time. So, hey, I did it for like three days though. It's very very a lot of pain. With having a I felt like a I felt like a um like an eighty year old man. Trying to just sit down on the toilet to take a shit. It hurt. It hurt pretty bad. So. Oh, shit, dude. I had my. Oh, boy. I was about to say. I looked over at my screen and I was like, what the fuck you mean? Record. I had my mouse over the little record thing and I didn't see the stop. And I thought this whole time I was talking and didn't record, but I was just about to give up. I was just I was just about to try a different day. Oh shit! I actually got I got some notes. I got some shit starred that I want to go ahead and talk about. But that was just like a quick little update of what I've been kind of doing. So really, AKA not much of shit. Found a uh, community though that I'm about uh, that I'm about to join. Actually, right after I record this, so I don't forget. Cause your boy need to find a job. It's a little sales community job thing where they fucking it's like um I guess like fiber upwork or some shit like that, but strictly for like sales, salespeople and shit. So yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. Go ahead and do that. But let's get this show on the motherfucking road. Uh, damn, it's already like eight minutes in. It's already been on the road. We just been in traffic, all right. We about to hit the freeway. <laughs> but as y'all already know, I had my shower thoughts and shit. I had that bitch today and I was thinking in the shower. I was like, man. The do country and and like rock people have the same type of drama? Like, you know, like the rap industry and like uh R and B. Cause like I swear I never I'll be scrolling through Twitter. I scrolling through Twitter and of course fucking uh meg the stallion is fucking was going through there and people was talking about the whole situation with her and shit and then there's like other weird situations with corley ray's dad saying some off the wild off the wall wild ass shit really fucking weird and blueface is uh, i don't know man that man's a whole fucking character like that man ah uh, Oh, he he's living. If you ever think of like reality TV and like you know IRL and like actually IRL, the first two people to come to mind for me is Blueface and uh, Krishan. And then I guess uh, what the fuck is her name? Sid the the, the little fat Sid the sloth bitch. Um, fuck, I don't know what the fuck she is, but. She got the fucking Barbie song or whatever the fuck. She pissed me off. She looks, she looks weird. But yeah, man, keep looking back down. I gotta make sure that my grind is still going, no matter what. Never stop the grind. But 
Yeah, man. Is there any actual like? I know that there's like stuff that happens right inside of like you know the country music industry or like the rock industry, but you know, is there like why don't we really hear much about the drama like that? Or does does it not cross over to like? Does the algorithm not bring the drama or whatever from that side over to like you know the rap and stuff like that? Or I wonder if like you know country country and rock people like on twitter know any drama about fucking what's happening like on this side i don't know something i always I thought about you know they kind of just stay to themselves they stay quiet they don't want the whole world to know shit especially uh if it's like outlaw country hey man that right there gotta be fucking that's that's family problems right there that gotta be some family issues deep family issues so i just so put it at that i'm put it at that i ain't gonna say no more about that but there gotta there gotta be something some some type of issues i've heard about like different dramas that's happened with like people that do like um producers that do i guess like edm music or like fucking dubstep and shit like that i don't know if there's problems with there but like you just don't hear shit about country or rock music or even jazz but you know jazz makes sense like how the hell are you going to be beefing with other motherfuckers that just make music and they, they just make beats but no actual like words and songs like jazz imagine having jazz hard, hardcore jazz that should be crazy but no, I was, I was thinking about that. I don't know. I I feel like there probably is some, and we just don't really hear about it much. All, all I hear about is bullshit on in the rap industry. Like you got, of course, Meg, or the two that I said as well. And then Diddy with his crazy ass fucking menace, bro. Dude, Diddy is a is a whole ass menace got j cole not even wanting to end, like basically own cars got this man riding bikes everywhere and shit he riding bikes flying planes or getting driven somewhere it's gonna be wild whenever we see the day that j cole is driving a car that shit would be crazy but dude diddy is and Diddy is a whole character. Like Diddy has to be like one of the pillars of fucking the Illuminati. He has to be. And I wonder if it's well, it's not, you know, the big, you know, Illuminati that runs the world, but the music industry type of Illuminati, like Diddy has to be one of the pillars. Gotta be. After all the shit that he did, hanging fucking Wale over a balcony or whatever. Dude, Diddy, it, uh, I, I feel like Diddy is actually probably worse than fucking Suge. Suge was just trying to get motherfuckers to just stay gangsta. I saw this. He's like, yeah, you're going to rap, but you also going to sell this crack. And I know that you ain't never sold crack before a day in your life, but and it slaps him. Just slaps the motherfucker in the face, but you go out there and make my money. And you figure that shit out. That's how I feel like Suge is. Diddy, on the other hand, is a fucking, I feel like he's like a mastermind, mind control manipulator. That he gotta be. 100%. Especially how he looks now. Ooh, how he looks now is crazy. He looks like a homeless man. He looks like he just took, he been living on a train for the past two weeks. Motherfucking, he go get a haircut or some shit. Got naps everywhere. Nappy ass beard. Nappy ass little fro. Just. They just look dirty. You look old and dirty. Man, must have been going through something. Gotta be going through something, man. Shit. You looking like that. But. Hey, if it comes out that he did all that crazy ass shit. And it's not just, you know. uh, What's the right word for it? Some big word like allegations or some shit like that. Something along the lines of like that. No. With all the crazy ass shit that people have been saying about him, 
If that all comes true, then a hey, deal Diddy is crazy, bro. That's a crazy motherfucker. Smart too, for basically being able to run all that shit basically himself. Cause he had to like <laughs> crazy. That's real. That's real wild. But nah, he gotta be. But what y'all ever been with like, you know, chilling with your homies. And of course, like we all know, like nowadays, you know, the homies have been getting real sus. And I think it's about time that we need to, we need to talk about the line between sus and just shit being gay. All right. There's a line that, um, that needs to be drawn. I think there's multiple lines that needs to be drawn. I think there needs to be a line of like, you know, a little sus compared to hella sus and then hella sus compared to full on that. That shit is gay. That's some homosexual activities, my boy. So I think it's about time we go ahead because it needs to be settled. Right now, I've been hearing a lot of crazy ass shit, and it needs to be calmed down. I don't have to calm this shit down. Like, damn. Like, you know, got friends talking about they trying to bleach they asshole and shit. Like, as a as like a grown man, yo, should you? Is how sus is it to get your asshole bleached? And like, what? What is the actual like what what does that mean to get your asshole bleached? Hold on, I'm about to Google this. What does it mean to get Oh no 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 that's way too much typing, hold on. Meaning of bleached butthole. Can say asshole or you start putting up porn. Anal bleaching is a cosmetic treatment that enlightens skin around the anus. What? That's all that it does? Why the fuck do you care about what color your anus is? Oh, that's what that is? Thought it was just to like. Clean it. It's like a. I thought it was just a term for you know get an extra cleaning, but dog, you're you're lightening your fucking asshole. What, bro? Just keep it. Just keep your asshole dark, bro. Why are you lightening your asshole? What is what? What benefit do you get from making your asshole more lighter? That's just crazy. That's weird. No. That's hella right. <sighs> Dog. As a grown ass man, bro, why are you getting your asshole lightened? Hell no. Nah. Hell to the fuck no, nah, dude. No, nah, that shit gay. That's some gay shit. Right? Saying it. I would say saying saying it and actually doing it. That's that's basically where the line is. Sus is you saying it right, but if you go out there and get your asshole bleached, bro, that's gay. You preparing your you preparing your cheeks for something, and it has to deal with some type of clapping activities. So that's a line right there. Then we got other shit. Uh, saying some shit, uh, saying it's not gay to the balls touch. That's just gay. It sounds funny, but that that got to be gay. That has to be gay. That means that you accepting anything that would be considered gay to regular people straight until yo yo testicles gets collided together with another pair of testimonials. No. 
that's gay. Like, bro, you you can't sit here and tell me with a straight face that it's straight because that shit's gay. Now, kissing kissing the homies goodnight. I would say saying it is a little sus, and probably doing it is sus. You know, you know, reason for you to be kissing your homies goodnight. But I don't think it's a full on probably gay activity. Because French people kiss each other on the cheeks all the time, bro. They say hello like that, don't they? They used to be like the bonjour and kiss it with the both cheeks. Like, so they gotta be, I gotta be a little sus, a little sus, but you can't put it as gay. That's a, a whole culture does it. That means that you basically calling them all gay. So I mean, there's lines, all right? Fellas, you need to start, you need to start having discussions with your friends about these lines. All right. Which lines can be crossed? Which ones cannot be crossed? There needs to be designated areas. I'm sorry. Tell y'all it just need it got to be like that. It's getting a little bit too questionable out there. It was funny at first though, but now some of y'all are taking it a little bit too far. A little bit too far. For the homosexual activities. But shit. That's crazy. What else we got here? Oh. Hold on. Let me go ahead and pull this up. I've seen this before. I don't know where the um I wasn't sure if it's like a picture or a video. I've seen it somewhere. It wasn't originally like my idea, but I do want to fully talk about this. Because homies, they were they were talking about Jid being the uh Zoro of Dreamville. Now I'm gonna have to stand fucking ten toes down on that shit, my boy. That shit is correct. One hundred percent I think the same shit Jid has to be the fucking uh Zoro of Dreamville. I think he actually uh, Y'all can fact check me on this, but I think it was him. Like J. Cole brought in uh Jid and uh Earth Gang as well to help start Dreamville. I think there was probably other people too, probably like Boz or something like that. But from what I know, Jid and Jid and Earth Gang definitely came up from Atlanta and went up to like North Carolina for a couple of songs or some shit like that. Or some some shit like that happened. Well, let me see here. Dreamville artist. Give me the list. We're not probably gonna do all of them. Bloop, 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 bloop. We're gonna close that. Uh let's see here. Yeah, we're not doing all of them. Who are these people? Big Sean is a part of fucking Dreamville? What? No. Uh-uh. Uh, I want to pull up the actual artist. Cole, Baj, Jizz, Earth Gang, Loot. Here we go. There we go. These are the artists. Let me switch this up for y'all. Kapow. Uh, right back behind me is Earth Gang. But 100%, how many of it? One, two, three, four, five, six, eight. Eight of them. Hmm. That's almost about the whole crew. Let's see if I can get this. I, I don't think that there's a Robin because there's only one female. So Cole off rips. Cole got to be a part of uh, he, he got to be Luffy. That's the captain of the ship. He drives the boat. Oh, no, he doesn't drive the boat. But, you know, he, that's the captain of the ship right there. Cole gotta be Luffy. Boss? Boss gotta be Jimbe, bro. He's one he's the only big dude that's in the crowd. Cause I don't think Cuz is that big. So Boss gotta be Jimbe. 100 percent Um, of course, Jid is uh is Zoro. 
uh loot loot i would probably say is mm, i would i would give loot brook nah mm, yeah i'll give i'll give loot brook and then i'll give cause uh sanji Cause hear me out. I think Chopper and Usopp is Earth Gang. Both both of them is Earth Gang right there. So we got Cole as Luffy, Boz as Jinbei, Kaz as Sanji, Loot as Brook, and Earth Gang is both Usopp and uh Chopper. Jid Zoro. Ari is, of course, obviously got to be Nami. And Omen is uh, Frankie. I don't remember what Omen looks like, though. Hold on. Let me see here. Omen. Repair. Yeah, dog. I ain't gonna lie to you. He, this face is built like Frankie. So yeah. Yeah. We we going to give even though he's bald. He has the same facial kind of structure features are almost similar as fucking Frankie. So that's what we got. That's what we got. That's almost the whole crew except for Robin. Cuz I don't think I missed anybody. Yeah. Dude, they just need a they need another what you call it. They need another female artist. They just need one more. Mm -hmm. I feel like uh since they're like kind of like meaning people, who who can be an artist that could fit the Robin role? We need somebody that's kind of like, uh, whatchamacallit, in a way, kind of like soul, got good lyrics, because, you know, like somebody like No Name, there we go. Y'all ever heard of No Name? She's pretty good. I will listen to her. I'm not sure about her new album though, but her older projects that she definitely did was actually uh, pretty good. I haven't listened to the new one. I know that there was some drama around her and Jay Electronic, but uh, or her having a song with Jay Electronic. I don't fucking know. I don't know all that bullshit. I don't really fucking care. But someone like No Name would be a great addition to make for a Robin and Dreamville. 100 percent that's what they need to find is their robin so they can have the whole crew because they already have other people they have fleets basically already because so many people do features with them especially whenever the dreamville fucking tapes come out automatically dog auto fucking matically has so many people like Guap Dad 4000, I think 4400 or whatever the fuck. Like you have people like Check West, he came in at one point. Uh the baby came in at one point. Fucking you have all these other artists that just come in and do like songs like Ski Mask came in as well too. But yeah, you got you got all these different artists and they're basically like, you know, part of the fleet, but they're not actually in the group. So yeah, dog. Dreamville, find y'all fucking Robin so y'all can have a complete crew. Find y'all Robin. I would say someone like No Name. Or Ari could be more like Robin. And then y'all get y'all get someone that's more along the lines like feisty or some shit like that. To be more of like Nami because Nami is kind of feisty like that. I would say personally she's feisty and 
a heli a hella money money bag basically money grabber all about money you have someone like bia there you go add bia and you just need to basically y'all just need another female dog you just need another one bro add another one in there either i would actually i would definitely say someone that's like you know about money and shit like bia but bia from of course new york but so you gotta i don't know i mean i think someone else either omen or cause is from like uh california but hey get somebody else that actually matches y'all chemistry but it's a little feisty and it's about money and then y'all got it a complete set a complete whole set of the one piece but yeah no that's what i think that's what i personally think get someone like bia and that'd be pretty dope or y'all can get someone that's not popular, but it's kind of like Bia. I would say kind of like Dochi, but Dochi's kind of one of those crazy out of the box. She be saying some wild ass shit. But yeah, no, other than that, hey, look, had a wonderful time basically talking to y'all. I hope that y'all definitely have a wonderful, wonderful weekend, week, and I end up basically being back next week for another episode. I'm trying to, I'm do, I think I'm doing pretty well on keeping it uh, week by week, so it's pretty nice. I think whenever school gets started, that's when I'm probably going to switch it over to, um, what you call it? uh switch it over to probably like every two weeks or something like that but still post on either instagram or i think i'm gonna start posting on tiktok i have i think yeah i just gotta fix the algorithm and everything for my tiktok or i just may make a whole new tiktok i don't fucking know dude i'll figure that shit out at some point in time in my life i don't know a lot's been going on i've been basically in the process of moving so I'm going to try to go ahead and have basically already pre-recorded uh, episodes for y'all before I move so I can just post them and have them already basically scheduled to post because there might be a time where I ain't got no internet or nothing. So I may only be posting on either Instagram or uh, TikTok or I'll probably be doing like YouTube shorts, but I wouldn't be doing actually any YouTube videos unless at that time. So everything would be fucking pre-recorded and shit. But of course, thanks again. Love y'all. Y'all take care of yourselves. Be good to yourselves. And especially, of course, don't just do more, be more, be successful. I love y'all. Stay blessed. Thank you. Peace.